Hello my friends and welcome to the video. Today I want to show you a somewhat hidden feature inside of Cubase. It's not very obvious but it's a very useful feature. So here I've got a typical sort of song session setup. We've got a tempo track, a ranger track, marker track, ruler bar, you might have a, uh, your uh, chord track on there or whatever and you could be working on something. Um, when you're making the music it's always good to be able to see these things okay and when you scroll down through your channels you'll notice that they obviously disappear because you're scrolling away from them however there is a way to keep specific channels and tracks at the top of the window at all times and it's by using the divide track uh, tool to access it you need to go all the way over to the top right here and you'll notice where your uh, bar is for adjusting the size of waveforms there's a little pencil tool just above it or a line tool if you hover over it it says divide track list if you click on this you'll notice that uh, Cubase will create like another bar here it might be at the top or it might be between a couple of your tracks but you can then grab this and open it up like so now we can take anything we want from our main session so let's say we want to take you know the tools for uh, the tempo and the arranger and the marker and the ruler we can drag and drop those into this window up here okay and we also obviously we have the option to resize these inside the window so we can keep them small or make them bigger and then we can then take this bar and just pop it back up there to tuck them in place now when we start scrolling through our session you'll notice that these always remain on the top so you can keep track of your arrangement and also any notes that you might have put in with your marker tracks as well so that's it it's a really short tutorial on the divide track list function inside of cubase an often overlooked and powerful little tool which just helps you keep things where you need them 